that's all the bills I think yeah rent sprint car payment insurance bg and e xfinity therapy those are the important ones shopify apple one apple two planet fitness oh i said shopify way before i even got the shopify i think all the bills are there so we should be fine as far as that i hope i re had to resize them because if you didn't know um my sizing was a little bit off and i had to resize it so hopefully we are good and I don't have enough space to add these stickers, the totals, the budget, the actual, and then all of that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I guess we won't because <laughs> we don't, we don't have, oops, I zoomed too far out. We don't have enough space. Can it zoom? I mean, focus. There we go. So rent, this is going to be for next month. So, um, 10, right? 10 1 this will be 10 I have a little cheat sheet over here y'all just a little a slight one <laughs> this will be 10 3 this is 10 15 that that's due this is 10 oh my bad so wait this is 10 4 and this is 10 3 this will be 10 12 technically and this would be 926 therapy does not have due days due every week we have photoshop which is due 918 apple 914 you guys can't even see no more um planet fitness 917 Dang, I guess I should have been putting the amounts on the side. My bad, y'all. I will get the hang of this. 919. Dad's cable is 924. This will be due 101. 101. 101. 101. And then this one is due 10. I don't know why I have this parasol pending. You guys can't see. But this parasol pending bill, I have it all the way. Huh. I'm going to reevaluate that one. We'll see. But we're going to leave it for what I have now, which is 10 7. And then Apple is 10 1. So rent is 12 30. Just about. Sprint is 2 45. The car payment would be. Uh, 354 um insurance is 250 bg e i um, budget 120 typically doesn't go over that this is one um i think it was actually quite lower than what it typically is yeah so i budget 170 for this therapy gets 60 dollars budget but i probably won't use all of that um Photoshop is 23 or 22? 23. Apple One is 11. Planet Fitness is 25. Some of these I just remember. This is 30. Shopify. Dad's Cable is $70. SPC I think is $34. Yep. BoxyCharm is 27 or 26. $26. It's actually like $26.50 but it's alright. All state, we're gonna budget thirteen dollars. Disney Plus, we budget nine. Parasol pending is six. Oh, and I know what bill I'm missing. My HP ink. That's the one I'm missing. Let's see if I can peel these stickers up and um put this down here. Probably not. Yeah, not. Well, I'm gonna just write a note down here. HP ink which is six dollars and then apple two is like i think it's like three dollars yep so as you can see my judgment is off because just a little bit or maybe i just write crooked who knows <laughs> oh and you guys can't even see but it's right there i write crooked y'all <laughs> so now we're going to add all these up so 12 30 plus 245 plus 354 plus 250 
120 has 170 plus 60 plus 23 plus 11 plus 25 plus 30 plus 70 plus 34 plus 26 plus 13 plus 9 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 equals because I got to add that one down there so it's 2 6 8 5 that's how much it equals I think I'm about to just stick this um right here and write balance because I kind of would like to know what's left over so can I should I stick this down here budget actual yeah I could stick this right here budget actual <laughs> so then when I get the actuals y'all could not see what I did but that's what I did I stuck these two little stickers down here so then when I get the actuals I will then go ahead and put them right there so pretty much everything else is the same except now we're gonna do split it up by paycheck um and see how much we have to like um put towards our like sinking funds and different things of that nature so i'm going to get the other pattern now which is this one and if you guys did not know by now i am like the worst person when it comes to laying down these stickers they will always probably be like at least a little bit crooked and that's just user error like <laughs> i do not know how to lay a sticker clearly to lay my life to save my life so now we're gonna go into the paychecks um you guys gotta let me know if these videos are too long like if you don't like them like the last time people were saying that it was good but i just be cautious because i'm like dang i don't know if y'all really want to watch a 30 minute video on how i budget my paychecks out <laughs> so it's pretty much the same setup though as the monthly budget except now we're going to see what bills go into each month i mean into each paycheck so i get paid bi-weekly um see look it's crooked i knew it would be so this first paycheck i will probably by the time i get this probably only have full time and then i might have etsy because i am opening my shop but I might not have Etsy. Etsy if nobody wants to purchase. Okay. So then we're going to get into total income. Those would be the only ones we have here. I'm trying to move a little bit quicker, y'all. Because your girl be talking too, too much. Just I like talking to y'all. And I like explaining like my thought process and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So if you ever want to know why I talk that much. <laughs> that's why so now we're going to get into what's going to consist of this paycheck so we're going to have rent of course so that's 10 i'm gonna just write right across as we go hopefully it will increase the time which is 6 30 we have insurance which is due 10 3 and that is going to be 125 we have sprint which is 10 4 and that's 120 I think 3 B G oops and E which is 10 12 and that's going to be $60 every paycheck I divide it by 2 if you're wondering how I got this these numbers Xfinity is due 926 and that's going to get $85 each paycheck and we have car payment this one's new but it would get oh let's see the payment is 353 so we're going to divide that by two so it gets 177 every paycheck and that's due 1015 all right so then we're going to get into therapy i might not have another therapy appointment after this but it's going to get 30 dollars we have photoshop i already kind of pre-figured out what needs to go in what paycheck just to hopefully 
make this go a little bit easier which is 918 and that is $23 we have Apple one one which is 914 and that is eleven dollars planet fitness and i don't even go to planet fitness like you have you saw that tiktok the girl who pays a monthly subscription for the gym and doesn't go that's me i'm probably going to cancel this because i have a gym downstairs in my apartment the only reason why i got this subscription is because i thought it would make me go to the gym because i'm paying for it um but clearly that is a false <laughs> So I'm not about to keep paying for this. So I'm probably going to cancel that. This might get canceled before this bill is actually due. We'll see. And that's cable. Which is due $9.24. And that's $70. So that's everything that needs to get paid on that paycheck. I should leave a space. But then I, don't, I also don't like seeing the spaces. So hopefully everything is right. And I need to work on how I write. Okay. So now we're going to get into our cash envelopes and our sinking funds. Now, I haven't fully developed what sinking funds I'll be doing this um, go around like how many binders I'll have or whatnot. So we have gas, which is important. We have spending. We have food, we have toilet trees, and then we still have self-care, which I might get rid of as well, but we'll see. I have a new car, to be honest, so I really don't know how much I will be spending in gas, but I'm going to go ahead and put $50. That's what I was putting in my other car. <laughs> we'll see. I may have to increase that. I may can decrease that. It's actually my new car is actually a little bit better on mileage than my other car, so we'll see. Spending gets 25. Food is going to get 150. Toilet trees is going to get 20, and self care is going to get 20. Hopefully, groceries work for me. I live by myself now, so I should only have to feed myself. So hopefully, I can use that in two weeks. And then, so we have sinking funds. And to be honest, I surely do not know what sinking funds I'm going to keep and which ones I'm not going to keep. But we're going to have to figure that out together, y'all. <laughs> so I think I might only end up having like one binder because I'm really trying to limit my sinking funds. So binder. And then I'll just put the amount. I'm going to leave a space just in case I have two, but... I really think I'm only going to have one. So there's that. So then we just add these stuff up. 630 plus 125 plus 120. Oops. 123 plus 60 plus 85 plus oops, 177 plus 30 plus 23 plus 11 plus 25 plus 30 plus 70. All right. So our bills are 1389 Our bi-weekly pay is 1000 what is my number? 743 my bad. So then we're just going to subtract the 1743 right? So 354 is what we have left, but we got to add this up. So plus 25 plus 150 plus 20 plus 20. That's 265 that we have here. Dang, I don't forgot. 1389 plus 265 minus 1743. Wow, there's only $89 that's going to go into this binder. Wow. It might honestly be like a hundred though because um I think I've like I think this number should actually be like 160 something like 1760 or something like that. But we only got $89 that's going to go in this binder. So we're going to do it for now. And we're going to have to make it work. Like we is really on a budget budget. Um, Actually, you know what? I technically forgot something. My 
car insurance is gonna go up in October, right? So, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm probably gonna supplement whatever I don't have enough for um, with my YouTube paycheck. But that's at the end of the month. So we'll, we'll figure it. I'll figure it out, guys. But that's this. <laughs> and that's the first paycheck. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing for the second paycheck. So we need this one now. And that's exactly the same setup that we would do for that one. So maybe I should speed past that one. I don't know. I feel like how long? I've already been filming for 25 minutes. And who knows how long I was filming prior to me having to stop filming. So, we'll see. We will see. I may speed all of this up, to be honest. With you guys. Y'all, it is pouring like crazy outside. And I have an appointment. I have to go drive in the rain. Okay, where's paycheck two? I see why people split this up and do like separate videos for it, but it's easier for me to kind of know what needs to happen all at the beginning of the month rather than splitting it up. That's just me personally. I need that visibility. Oops, no. No. Okay. Not me trying to rush now. Not me trying to rush. Alright y'all, so to be honest, I have no idea where the camera stopped filming at. So I apologize for that. But what I did was I set up my second paycheck. I don't know if you guys saw what part you saw, what part you didn't see. But we went through my first paycheck. I just have my income. I have my bills, how much they cost, how much needs to go in my sinking fund. I mean, how much needs to go in my cash envelopes and how much I can put in my sinking funds. And that's only $87, $89. So we is really like approaching low income guys but it's okay we're gonna make it through and we're gonna reach our um our saving goals and we're gonna do it together which is Liddy. okay so now we're gonna go in and put these bills in so we have rent we have um insurance and i'm actually gonna put it like across as i go so insurance is due this is 125, let's do 10, three. We have Sprint, 123, let's do 10, four. B, G, and E, 10, I mean, yeah, 12, that is 60. We have car payment. which is due 10 12 i mean 15. now hmm oh these are september that's why i was so confused oh 177 is how much that is i was like wait it will be passed but no it won't uh 177 we have spc which is 10 1 and that's 34. We have Boxy Charm, which is 10 1, and that is $26. We have Allstate, which is 10 1, and that is $13. We have Disney Plus. I might cancel this because I don't watch it. 10 1, and that is $9. Parasol pending. We need to have this. This is my packages, which is due 10 to 7, and that is $6. And I think technically my HP ink should have been over here, I think. But we're going to put HP ink. This might be out of place because it would technically be due 10, like 23 or something like that. And that's also $6. But I'm pretty sure I'll have $6, so I'll just make sure to put it back. Oh, and I forgot Xfinity. Um, which is due, oops, $9.26, and that's $85. Okay. Oh, and I forgot Apple II. My bad. Apple II, which is due 
10 one and that's three dollars all right so those are all the bills we're gonna lay our little sticker down now and i'm gonna put y'all back straight so y'all can see again because y'all can't see nothing oops i'm zooming in i'm at the zoom out so y'all can see oops sorry y'all I want y'all to be able to see the bottom half of my page. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get into our cash envelopes. And they're going to be the same as the other ones on the other page. Nothing different. Same amounts each time. Hold on. I was laying that sticker down. Oh. And it's still down all wrong. Oh, and now it's ripping the page. So it's going to stay down like that. So we have gas, which I gave $50. I may have to change that, but we'll see. Spending, which I gave 25. We have food, which gets 150. We have toy lot trees. Tries, which gets $20. And then self care, which also gets Twenty dollars, so that should be two sixty-five. If the math is the same and the math is mathing, it should be two sixty-five. Yep, two sixty-five. So now let's see what we can put in our binder. Y'all, I'm trying to speed this up because I be talking too much. So if you're wondering why I'm zipping, zipping through, it's because y'all I be talking too much. And I don't want y'all here till tomorrow watching this video. Y'all wouldn't even watch it for that long. Okay. And I'm going to just put binder. I don't know how many binders I'm going to have. But I'm pretty sure it's only going to be one. Because we don't have that much money that we can even put in these binders. So let's see how much money we can afford to put in the binder. So let's see. We have. Oh, I didn't add it up. Let's see, 125, 123, 60, plus 177, plus 34, plus 26, um, 13. Honestly, these numbers may go down because my car insurance also went up. So, we might not be able to put nothing in our envelopes. But we'll see. We're going to keep going and see what happens. Oh, my bad. So, it's... Twelve ninety seven plus this two sixty five. So if we subtract seven seventy three, oh, we have we have a little bit more to work with, which I'm actually surprised by. One eighty one. Wait, so how come did I, y'all? Did I type something wrong? Oh yeah, no, that's almost two hundred dollars more. No, about like one hundred dollars more. That makes sense because there's $100 less here. So that's why there's only 87. Okay, that makes sense. We got a little bit more that we can put in this binder. We can put 181 in that binder, y'all. So that is that on that on that. That on that on that on that on that. Okay. So we finished that. So next we're going to set up our bi weekly check ins as well as. Our sinking funds because I don't think I need that many pages to be honest um, so I might I took out tracking my um, expenses like like an expense tracker um, a transaction log is what it's called I took that out but I might add it back in because I might could actually use that but I might not, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. So this is gonna be bi-weekly check-in. So, how much did we spend in our categories per paycheck? This is what I was supposed to add totals, and I forgot, okay. I was supposed to make a little sticker for the totals, and I forgot. I guess I don't really need to though. So we have paycheck one, so we'll have in this paycheck, we'll have gas, we'll have spending, we'll have um, food, 
toilet. Oh, I just spelled that wrong. Tries. I spelled that wrong, but I'm not about to fix it. <laughs> Self and care. So I'm gonna put right here how much is getting in it each week. So that's gonna that's what it's starting with. Just so that I remember what the starting amount was. Um $20 and $20. So I used one of these that I had left over. Actually, I can just use it from the kit that I have. All right. So, um, and we'll just put it. Um. Actually, yeah. Let's 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 make a space. And so this will go here. Dang! Look how I did that at the end. We were doing so well. Doing so well. And then we'll do a paycheck too. And we'll do the same thing, but this time we won't put anything for what it started with because that will be whatever is remaining here. Spending. If I decide to roll over, I don't know if I'm gonna roll over or if I'm gonna just take it out and put it to like that snowball. Try self care. Alright, so that is that on that on that. And to be honest, I really don't think I'm going to have that many um, sinking funds. But I think I'll just leave this here like this. And let's see. Like that. And then I'm going to just write trans actions here. And then I can just write down what my transactions for the month were. So now on to the next page, <laughs> y'all. I am trying to speed up if you guys cannot tell and my camera is out of focus. Thank you. All right. Cause I'm trying not to have y'all here all day with my boring mess. Uh, look, me rushing, I'm messing things up. Okay, so which one do we need now? I think we need this one. So, these ones were a misprint because I needed more printer ink. Um, so, they're slightly not the same color as the other ones, but they will do. So, now we're going to track our sinking funds. And this is the one that I kind of changed a little bit because... Um, of the way I use it so typically you would track like how much is in your sinking funds with this but I'm tracking how much I'm putting into my sinking funds with this so we have our little header right here and this is saying so each paycheck I track how much I'm going to put into it so now we got to decide what funds we're going to do so, I think, of course, I'm going to stuff my bills. I think I'm going to go back to doing that because it just, honestly, it was better for me to take it out and stuff it than to leave it in my account and just have to worry about it that way. But I'm not going to put none of that on here. So, what we need to save up for is, I'm going to put car here. Not a new car because I just got a car. Kind of like who scar excuse me car maintenance i would say car maintenance car maintenance is going to be important we need savings savings needs to be up here apartment i'm gonna need to move soon so not soon but soon y'all apartment car maintenance savings apartment I feel like those are the only true like priorities um so those would be like my main sinking funds and then i also need to do canva because i have a bill coming up for that one um we could put christmas but it wouldn't be this christmas so you know what no i'm not gonna put christmas only because I don't think I'll be able to save that much up for Christmas, to be honest with you. Um, so I should hopefully be getting a refund check from school. 
around Christmas time. So I will use that to pay for this Christmas. So I will add Christmas in in January. Cause I know, like I know if I write it down, I'm gonna be trying to save for it and I need to write down only what my priorities are right now. Which I don't even know what my priorities are right now. Uh, let me go through my old bind. <laughs> oh, date, side canvas. I had a whole bunch of just randomness. Um, They weren't random, they were all for a purpose. So student loans is one. Student loans is one. Uh, let's see health health is oh I got some money y'all I just found some money in my health envelope because I was supposed to pay a bill bro I forgot all about it dang that bill is like months old at this point health those are important okay um to be honest y'all those are my priorities those right there those are going to be my priorities. This is where we're going to focus at right now. And if I see that I need a sinking fund for something else, then I will add it afterwards or as we go. So paycheck one, we only got $85 that we can put in here. So I want to definitely put $20 of that into um, savings. I want to put, we only got $85. We ain't got that much to work with. I mean $89 so minus 20 so we got $69 that we can work with um I might honestly just put this I don't know what I'm gonna do with this we'll see um let's put $10 into health so we're gonna let me see where where I could put y'all where I could still write so minus $10 we got $59 left that we can work with let's put $10 into canva so minus ten dollars. Um, we got three more that we could work with that we could do so with. And because I don't like how it's odd, I'm gonna put nineteen dollars into apartment, and then we're gonna put ten dollars into student loans and twenty dollars into car maintenance. So let's see. <laughs> that was right. Twenty plus 20 plus 19 plus 10 oops 20 plus 20 plus 19 plus 30 all right we did it that is it so i think i can actually go ahead and put the total i really don't anticipate adding more sinking funds than this but i'll leave one space just in case i add one more but it won't it ain't getting no money this month um and I did leave an option for paycheck three. I don't have, um, sometimes I have three paychecks, but right now I don't. And then the next one is going to be like September monthly closeout and my battery is about to die. So we just going to try to quickly do this. This one, I don't have to fill out. This one won't get filled out until the end of the month. So, but I will go ahead and stick these stickers down so that way you guys can see them. Oh, I got to do paycheck two. My bad. Let me hurry up before this camera cut off and I, I, I didn't even know and I'm still talking to a camera that died. Okay, so let's hurry up. And then we have 181 that we gotta decide where it goes in paycheck two. What goes in paycheck two. I think I can do it. So a car, maintenance, savings. We have um, apartment, Canva, student loans, 